Hi friends, so today I am making my uh, granulation palette. I have always loved granulation and I have been inspired by people on YouTube making their granulation palettes. I will link a couple of videos in the description below. Also, I apologize if you can hear my neighbors, I think, are getting their trees cut down. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear that. I will try to speak louder. And, um... So I have this uh, ceramic palette that I got from AliExpress. I will link the list, uh, the link below. I just got it and I'm really excited to be using it. It's just so pretty. So it has 24 wells and uh, mixing area. It seems really sturdy. And um, I, this palette is going to be just um, for when I want to use my granulate. Uh, the in colors and I don't have to go searching for them in my palette. I won't squeeze out too much because these colors are not uh, something that I use in big washes. You know, a little bit goes a long way and I just use them here and there. So anyway, I, that's why I won't be, um, that's why I won't be squeezing too much paint out in the wells. That was a long way of saying that. So uh, I have my colors picked out and uh, I will be filling those in a moment. I might or might not switch to voiceover depending on how the neighbor's tree cutting goes. And um, But these colors um, I've used a lot, most of them. So starting with Winsor Newton Cobalt Violet, I have um, only tried this Cobalt Violet. Uh, given multiple people's um, recommendation because I know they can be very hard to rewet. So this is the cobalt violet that I've always used and I actually need a new tube soon. So uh, I really like that color. Followed by Schmincke's Galaxy Rose, Galaxy Pink. So uh, I was going to say the color order may not be perfect. I didn't swatch out, oh this one's hard to open, everything in advance just because I wanted to get this video going and I personally am not bothered by a slightly out of order color um, palette but apologize if you are <laughs> this one's a little bit separated and again so this is what part of Schmincke's uh, granulating color series and um, you'll see I have a couple of those. Next, Winsor Newton uh, Potter's Pink. Uh, again, I have uh, only tried their Potter's Pink, but I really like it. Next up, we have Daniel Smith Rodenite Genuine. I um, am not knowledgeable with the whole uh, Primatech I'm not a geologist or gemstone enthusiast, so um, I have these paints. I paid for them, and they were quite expensive, so I'm going to use them. And I totally uh, respect your opinions on those. Next up is Daniel Smith Amethyst Genuine. This isn't one of my most used um, Daniel Smith colors. Um, purples in general I, is not my favorite, but somehow I have quite a lot of those. <laughs> Next up is Galaxy Violet. And again, um, the Schmincke colors, they all rewet very nicely, I have. But I find that they're a little bit um, less pigmented. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, or the colors it could be. And we have Schmincke's Ultra Marine Violet. So it is basically a Ultra Marine, marine Blue with a PV pigment, PV15. I do like how the Schmincke uh, tubes have a longer neck, so it's much easier to open. Van Gogh Lavender, which is just white plus um, ultramarine blue. And 
I don't use a whole lot of um, opaque colors, but I thought it would be nice to have one. And you'll see I don't have a lot of browns or yellows in this palette, so it's not a, a standalone palette. I might squeeze out some uh, yellows in the mixing area so that it's a little bit more complete. So that's the first row. The next row we have mainly uh, teals and greens. So um, we have Deep Sea Indigo. And I don't know what it is about granulating colors. I'm a little bit more precious with them. I know it's silly. Uh, Glacier Green, this is a fabulous color. I love it so much. And somehow I haven't really used it. Um, I've squeezed out a couple pans and palettes here and there, but I really need to use more of it. Oh, the binder's all separated. Uh, Coors Cobalt Teal. This is my favorite Cobalt Teal. I've tried multiple from Daniel Smith, Lucas. Coors is my favorite. And I think I use this color in every single one of my paintings. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's probably not an exaggeration. <laughs> At least half of my paintings, that's for sure. Daniel Smith, Sleeping Beauty, Turquoise Genuine. Now, I know this is not a... Um, it's not a light, fast color. So, I usually... I don't use a whole lot of it. I actually have the two pretty full, but... You know, this is not supposed to be a light, fast palette. I do have one, and uh, I could show you in a future video if you're interested. So uh, I will just keep that in mind when I paint with this palette. Jadeite Genuine, one of my favorite um, favorite greens. I love using it with Serpentine, Serpentine Genuine, and Green Appetite, which we'll see very uh, in the next couple of pans. Green Appetite Genuine. I've used up a whole, I think, 5 mil tube, so this is a new tube. That came out really aggressively because it's a new tube. And there's just something special about um, ceramic palettes. Um, they feel... <laughs> so much nicer and I've really grown to love them so next up serpentine serpentine genuine not sure I love this color um, I'm trying to think if I have a painting around here <laughs> that I can find that I painted with this I use it a lot serpentine genuine zozite genuine is um, a very dark blackish green all right so that's the second row the last row uh, starts with kyanite genuine this one is a very kind of muted blue and I haven't really used it a whole lot since I got it so but it's a very special and it has a lot of shimmer in it. Definitely a different color than we usually see. Now, I'm not sure if these are not genuine. I'm the, I don't know how Daniel Smith achieves it. I'm not saying they are genuine, um, but you can't argue against how, how special these colors are. French Ultramarine is next. I know um, there's a difference between ultramarine and French ultramarine. Uh, one is more granulating than the other. I'm not sure which is which, but I've had this French ultramarine uh, and I just stuck with it. Next is Shadow Violet 
from Daniel Smith. And this color is similar to um, Moon Glow, but it's not as purple. Okay, next up we have Bloodstone Genuine. I actually have more Genuine colors, but couldn't really fit, uh, fit them here. Next up is Hematite Violet Genuine, one of my favorite uh, Primatech colors. I just have a rag on my right, so it's easier for me to open the tubes. So I had picked Glacier Back Black, but I think I'm going to uh, change my mind, actually and put Tiger's Eye Genuine in there because um, the Glacier Black is not very strong and I have Luna Black here, so I'm going to change that. And the Tiger's Eye Genuine is probably the most yellow leaning shade in here, so it's good to have that. Lunar Blue is probably my most used watercolor out of uh, all the watercolors I have. It's just absolutely beautiful. Let's see how much I can squeeze out of here. Not much left. And the uh, Lunar Black is my second <laughs> most used watercolor. I mix it with, you know, quinacone colors to give them some uh, granulation. So for example, I have this tube right here, uh, this pan. This is Daniel Smith. Quinacridone Rose with uh, the Lunar Black. I have almost used it up, but I can swatch this one later if you're interested. And last but not least, Lunar Black. I <laughs> It's very difficult to squeeze from this tube because I almost used it up, but we'll get some out. And they go such a long way, so I'm not in a rush to repurchase them. So here is the last row. And um, next up, I will grab a piece of paper and swatch these out. I hope you don't mind my extremely messy desk. I can't be bothered to clean it. I have to be in a certain mood to clean my desks. And um, also, like I said, the they're not in a specific order. So this, if this bothers anyone, I'm sorry. So first up, we have Cobalt Violet. Uh, one of my most used colors. Sorry if you can hear the the guys chopping down a tree on the... <laughs> I might have to do a voiceover. We'll see. So the paper that I'm using is from Fabriano, their studio paper. And someone had commented in my previous video that they didn't like the paper that I was using. I don't like these either which is why I use them for swatching. So this is, is this Potter's Pink? No, actually, I think this is Galaxy Pink from Schmika. This one, I believe, is Potter's Pink. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And uh, different paper and how much water you use can change how much granulation you see. This paper, it does not show granulation the best, but um, I, still, I still think you can see it pretty well. This one is, I want to see Amethyst from Daniel Smith. I could be wrong. <laughs> I put them away, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, next up, what's this one? Uh, pretty sure that's Schmincke. Schmincke's Ultramarine Violet. No, no, actually. I think that's uh, Schmincke. 
glacier violet. Yeah, so it has that brownish uh, separation to it. This one is Schmincke's Ultramarine Violet, and I'll swatch it close to the, to it, so you can see. They're very, they're pretty different. I love the um, the Glacier Violet, and then the last one we have is uh, Van Gogh Lavender. I guess it's gonna go here. <laughs> I apologize if you can hear the the tree being chopped. <laughs> so, all right, next row. I guess I will. I'll start a new row. This one was, I believe, a Schmincke color. I forgot which one. Oh, I know. It's Deep Sea Indigo. I'm pretty sure. See, this is where maybe doing a voiceover might not be the worst idea. We'll see if I actually do that. Next up is Glacier Green. One of the most magical colors. It makes me want all the glacier one, glacier colors, because I think that's the best out of the the range. Although I think they have another collection called Tundra colors. Those look like they would be right up my alley. As you can see, I love uh, teals and greens. I think it's Tundra. Um, this one is Core. Cobalt teal and one of my most used colors. Absolutely love it. On this paper though, it doesn't it isn't it's not showing the granulation as much. Um Sleeping Beauty Genuine was up next. Now, I bought this color uh, because I found it on sale, and I know everyone raves about it, but I really like the brighter cobalt teal than the Sleeping Beauty, but the granulation is absolutely gorgeous. So sometimes I mix the two. And this one is Jadeite, a very strong green. Yeah, very strong. Um, I also mix... Lunar black with a phthalo green, I want to say yellow shade, to achieve this kind of look. It's very similar. And I often use that color with uh, Green Appetite. I think they go so well together, as well as Serpentine Genuine, which I'll show you next. So I absolutely love Green Appetite. Uh, Genuine, it is such a magical color I think I just realized I missed watching one of the colors so I'll go back to that on the first row so this is the serpentine genuine I love um, it's got that green gold kind of look I love a yellowy green and the last one on this row is Zozite. And it's almost black, but you can see it's uh it's got some green to it. So I missed Rodanite Genuine on the first row, so I'll put that here. Sorry about that. I'm very unorganized, if you can't tell. <laughs> so this isn't one of the most uh, granulating colors, but I wanted something a little bit of a brighter pink than the three I have up here. So that's the first two rows. And the last row starts with Kyanite. And like I said, it's a muted blue. 
very pretty and it has a lot of shimmer which doesn't draw me in personally but you know i can see how it could be um an interesting effect in some places i'm not repelled by it either and uh, ultramarine blue so this is one of the most basic colors i think it's literally in every granulating uh every basic set so you know what you can do is mix it with a lot of your non-granulating colors and create something that has granulation um shadow violet is next and I've used up my um, Moon Glow or like poured it out in pans, otherwise I would have included that even though it's not life fast. Um, Shadow Violet is just a bit too, I would like to see a bit more blue. So maybe it would be cool to mix those two together. We can try that later. Next up I believe is, let's see, is this a hematite? violet color oh, it looks like it or is it bloodstone <laughs> i'm asking you as if you know i'm sorry i can check back i can let's see what this color is because that will did i miss another one i think i did <laughs> so here i've got a uh, lunar blue on my on my brush so I'll start with that it's a it's my favorite color and uh, it's on some paper the granulation is just out of the world I believe it's manganese blue hue with lunar blue I could be wrong but it's uh, yeah the blue just really pops and then the last one is Daniel Smith lunar black so I'm definitely missing a color or two. <laughs> so yeah, I missed Tiger's Eye Genuine, a color that I love. And I also missed this one here. which is which is this one these two are so similar but I think this is the bloodstone and this is the hematite violet this one is a bit more brown well that was a little bit of a mess <laughs> so next let's do um, I'm gonna swatch this pan that I have here which is uh, Daniel Smith um, Lunar Black with Quint Rose. And I'll show you what I mean. I've used, I had a full pan or full half pan that I almost use up. So it is um, two very basic colors, but together it, I think it's magical and I use it a lot in my florals if I want a more moody look. So there's that one. And uh, I also want to see Shadow Violet and um, I also want to see Shadow Violet and uh, Ultramarine Blue together because I think that could look very cool. So uh, there's is there anything better than mixing on a ceramic palette? I don't think so. Okay, this is a lot more purple than I expected. Um, but that's really, really interesting. Let's see if I can add a bit more. Okay, very interesting. Very similar actually to the, um, the Glacier Violet color. So this is everything, and oh, I also wanted to show you 
I hope you can see this glacier green color. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I hope you can see that. And some of these swatches are still wet. I like to do very wet washes. And I think that helps with granulation as well. So this is probably one of my favorites from this entire palette. And I really should use them more. Um, and the Luna Blue is also granulating. So that's my palette. I am very excited to, to use it. It is um, such, it's just so pleasing to look at. And yeah, um, I will link this below. It's a very nice quality and obviously not affiliated or anything. And I will see you next time.